Oh my god, I am... Okay. Hi guys, how's it going? Okay, so, um, you guys, I have a very special guest joining me tonight, okay? Let me put this one like this, okay? Super exact, excited um, to talk to my girl, Tiffany, tonight. Um, and she and I... Hey girl, hey. <laughs> hi girl, hey. Hi, honey. Hey, oh my what god, seriously. Up? How have you been? No, uh, tell good. me everything. Give me the dish. Give me the tea. Like yeah, the dish. I mean, boy, I just got here. Damn, how you doing? How are you? <laughs> seriously, I just can't. I, I can't. I can't tell you enough how much I love you. How much I just adore you. I even called it week two. Just FYI, I was like, I'm gonna be besties with this girl. Hmm? Yes, uh -huh. okay. yes, me too, girl, honey. That part. So I said, I said, so I actually said, you, Aza, and Kylan. Um, and it was Not funny because y'all ended up in the final three. I'll be, um, thanks to you. Hi. <laughs> so, oh my God, how are you, you were boo? My, you were my bestie before I even got on the show because. You and Janelle are besties, and I'm like, we need to make this a thruple. Yes. You know, yes. I, stand, I stand Janelle. I'm like, queen, queen, okay? Yes. Stand, and y'all just, like, I love it. Y'all are my faves. I'm like, okay, so one of them are, is going to have to let me in. It's going to be <laughs> them and then me. You two are the only two I don't mind if somebody come if I come second. You know what I'm right. saying? Just, right, right, right. As long right. as I'm included. So I make the thruple. I love it. I love it. You know, honestly, I um, I was talking to Janelle this summer, and we were watching it, and we were like, "Listen, like, we're like, I was like, I love Tiffany. Like, I just love her vibe. I love her. Just like her. I mean, you got female swag, girl. You got some like, like, you got some. Yeah, hi. <laughs> you got it. Okay. And I'm literally, like, I'm just Quan. like, I'm like. Do you remember I, that? Do you remember the Quan from um, uh, Jerry Maguire? Yes. The con. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. By the way, I'm freezing, okay? Where are you right now? Listen, honey, I am in my room, but I'm a, I'm a straight up show you. I got this little fireplace burning over there, okay? <laughs> so, I love it. Um, I love it. Is, I, I can, let me tell you, I hate the cold. I hate the cold so much. I will not retire where it is cold. I will get the hell out of here. You will not find me being an old lady freezing, trying to wrap up <laughs> in 17 blankets with some leg warmers. I'm not yeah. doing that. I'm not doing I that. I will retire in the sun on yeah. the beach with some sand and some water and some sun. Yeah. Yes, honey, get it, of course. You know, yeah, you have to have it your way. I'm loving that you are all ready for the holidays. Look at this. Oh, girl, good. honey, you have to be. You have to be ready. And the Christmas spirit, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already playing Christmas music. I got, I got Motown Christmas. Have you done it? I got any Ellen DeGeneres Christmas. I got Diana Crawl Christmas. Christmas. I got Christina Aguilera Christmas. I got Mariah Carey Christmas. Bro, I got on. I got all the albums. I got I'm all the albums. I'm still over here banging Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> By the way, cheers, there. Cheers! <laughs> oh yes. my God, it's love and news. That's to Sean from BB Can Nine's mom. She uh. has, yes, love and news. She has a line for black women. Okay. Um, she's got undergarments, bras, and underwear for like us in our skin okay. tone. So that Cute. I was on her live today and she was talking about how nudes, most people think nudes are like tan, but she has mm -hmm. our color nudes. So shout out to Loving Nudes. Follow her. Love she that. Lines of undergarments for women of color. So that is totally dope. And I just let Sean know that if his mom wants to send me something, I don't have <laughs> much. I don't have much. 
but I'll show it off. <laughs> I'll show off what I got for her. Girl. Hey, I'll show some of the things off too. Send me some things. Yes, Go. please. Hello. I need a little push up, a little lift, you know, a little <laughs> sit it up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so I'm actually in um, Atlanta visiting family, like cousins, aunts, uncles, like they all live here. And I... Wait, you in you Atlanta know, with a wool sweater? You in Atlanta with a wool sweater? Girl, it's 30 degrees. Oh, no, no, no. Honey, that was not expected. Oh, not expected no. at all. Uh, I got in last night, and I was like, all right, let's see what's happening, whatever. You know, it was 50-something degrees last night. I got off the plane. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Uh, looked at the weather. I'm just like, what? I'm like, hello. I don't do 30, 30 degrees. Unless you're going to like Colorado, you're going to Aspen, yeah. you're going to go ski yeah. and you're expecting it. Yeah. I didn't bring jackets. I brought one sweater and I brought a cashmere like pullover. I didn't bring coats. I didn't bring snow boots. Last well, night it was me, 30. Let me, let me tell you this. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. What is up? What fountain of youth are you drinking from? Because you are so fine. <laughs> what like, what is going on? What? Give me the secret. Give me the secret. Girl, it's called drinks. <laughs> drinks. <laughs> drinks. Yes. I keep my liver healthy, girl. I keep my liver healthy. But here's the thing. I work out four to five days a week. But I do okay. cardio. That's it. I do cardio. Okay. I do... Um, I try to eat healthy as much as I can. Okay. But my, my, my vice, you know, and not in a bad way, you know, I know how to control it, but I love my wine, you know, I love a nice libation, you go oh. to dinner, you have a couple of tequilas, you know, you, you have the right things. I'm Balance, a tequila girl, key. Bo. I am a Honey. tequila girl. True tequila tea. Girl. You know what else? Bo, have you tried Pilates? Yes, I, I have. Love Pilates with the reformer, though. The reformer, right? the Cadillac, yes. and, and Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I love Pilates. I was doing Pilates for like a year before I got into the Big Brother house. So when I was mm. going up to that wall, I was That's like, all hey, about girl, the core, plank. honey. All about the core. Like, plank, girl, plank, girl, plank. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and plank, and not, not just plank for like 30 seconds. You're planking for a minute and 30 seconds for three minutes. Girl. Oh, oh, I was yes. counting. I was like, uh, counting down. Is it broke? Is it broken? <laughs> Is it broken? <laughs> have you ever have you ever um, planked or used the um, what is it called? Um, it's the one that vibrates. What's it called? Mm -mm. Power plate. Power no, plate. I I can't Ooh. plank. On, I I, I um, haven't I haven't planked on a machine that vibrates, Bo. Girl, if you plank, imagine planking. Okay, I'm talking about. Okay, plank. Like, okay, there's a machine that vibrates a million times a minute, okay? And you are on that thing, okay? You're planking like this. Yeah. And you're up for a minute. It's almost like being on this machine or actually planking because it vibrates your whole, like, you know, body or your, your whole core times a million, okay? It's insane. It's insane. It's called power play. Look I it up. They have the little portable that. ones. They have the big ones. They actually have power plate classes. It's insane. So I good and so try, worth it. I might have to try that with a partner. Yeah. I'm being bad right now. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I'll hold your feet up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Adam. Ball oh, my gosh. In here. This is Adam. This is Derek F's best friend. You would love Adam. Adam is Yeah, tell me Adam. everything. Tell me about Adam. Adam is so dope. He is so cool. I don't know why um he can't just be with me because we would just rule the world. But he is a, he likes the opposite sex, but I think okay. you know I got a little testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just tell you? Okay, one of my favorite moments on this past season was when you, okay, when Kylan was being a little whatever about being on the block, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna like, when you were in the diary room, you're like, Kylan, shut your fucking mouth. Shut the mouth. fuck up, Kylan. You, you been with, with Sarah Beth every morning, every afternoon, <laughs> and every good night. Seriously, you on that block, and you gonna shut the fuck up about it. 
and I said that, that was shit. the best line in the whole Big Brother season. Like, I still to this day. Bo, I said that shit so fast. I didn't even know that they recorded me. I was like, oh when, I saw, when I saw it, I was like, oh, y'all got that on camera. <laughs> and you were serious. I was. That's what I loved about it, because it was so genuine. It was so genuine. You were like. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, y'all heard that? Oh, y'all can hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because as you know, when you're on, when, you, when you're doing the, the diary room sessions, there's no person. So it's only the camera. And if, and you, when you get into it, you get into it, you know? So it's just like, all right, you know, and you're just going to say what you say, but oh my gosh, too yeah. funny. I love it. I love it. Too funny. So but, are you um, in Atlanta to eat or are you in Atlanta to help? Say what? Are you in Atlanta to eat? Are are you in Atlanta to help? Um, eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was I was just calling my cousin because she's at my mom. She's at Mama Pat's, and I'm like, I feel like I'm supposed to be over there tonight, at least cutting up some onion, celery, right? Uh, <laughs> making the cornbread for the dressing. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'm supposed to be participating a little more than I am. <laughs> So uh, I, I might shimmy on over there and just sit in the kitchen and keep her company, you know. Right. <laughs> Have another glass of wine. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for more support. Yes, you should uh, do that better. And that should be a little more, girl. Ain't nothing like cooking with company. You know what I'm saying? I know. I uh, really it makes it go faster. Yeah. But since you're here, <laughs> tell me something. <laughs> I might go over there and see what she's doing. Pour me a mimosa or something. I had right. these private jets. Now, this private jet. I'm okay, sure. tell me about this private jet. Okay, where were you, first of all? And tell me exactly what was in it and how many you had, girl. Tell me. Tell. I can't tell you how many I had. Hi, Rohan. <laughs> Rohan's here from BB Canada 9. So, uh, Rohan is a cutie. You will love Rohan. Okay. I will go. Oh, my God. I am going to go to Mama Pat's house and go live for Mama Pat's tonight. So, she, y'all going to see me get cussed out like I'm 12. She don't give a damn how old I am. I'm not a damn. Not a damn. She like, okay, you uh, kids, you a kid to me. But okay, so I had this private jet. I was at Townhouse in downtown Birmingham. Very quiet. quiet. In Alabama. No, I'm in Birmingham, Michigan. Michigan. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh, wait, are you are you an hour behind? No. Well, it's eight twenty five to me. Okay. Same. No, you're the same. Yeah. Okay. So Birmingham, Michigan is where the rich get richer. So, you know, I'm trying to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> learn. Oh, the bowels, Lynn. The bowels. Le le learn me something. Le <laughs> learn me something. So I'm in downtown <laughs> Birmingham. Um, they've got this little drink called the Private Jet. It's a little bourbon. It's got a little orange slice on it. It's got a little fizz on top. I don't mm -hmm. know what's in it. It might be like a little lime juice in it. It is so good. Just so you know, I'm lit. <laughs> just, yeah. just to be clear, <laughs> just, you get up. just to be clear, <laughs> with, a, with a straight face. But um, I'm a Uber. I'm a Uber to Mama Pass for all the people. Be like, oh my God, she got a lot, and she said she was licked, and then she got in a car with her son, and she drove to her mother's house on the <laughs> night before Thanksgiving, where it's the biggest drunk night of the season. And <gasps> did you see what Tiffany did? Tiffany oh my God, Uber. she's gonna Uber her lit ass over there, and I'm sure she got. I don't know. I wonder if she got her house decorated. I feel bad. I feel like I'm supposed to do more. Uh huh. But I feel like I'm the oldest. Like, my younger cousins should be in there hanging up lights and stuff like that. Right. You know? right. But I get it. If she needs some help, she got me. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most memorable childhood holiday memory? Okay. Or, or top three. Top three. doesn't have to be I'm one. Give me top three. I definitely have two. Okay, so. I don't know if you know, but my- Hold up. Hold that thought. I want Here we mine. Go. I forgot. I want mine. <laughs> I should make you get on hold. <laughs> I had a little 
<laughs> you gotta get it, girl. I mean, this is the holiday series on. <laughs> Dang. Okay, um, now I'm really, now I'm really hot. Okay, seriously, <laughs> this is too much. I meant. To... <laughs> I want to. Okay, okay, Bo. Okay. Can I have ninety seconds? <laughs> And, yes. Answer, answer some questions for ninety seconds, Bo. <laughs> okay. How about I start I'm off? I'm gonna get my hat. And I talk to myself. Talk to your friends. Yes. Okay. Right oh, wait, hang on. There's some questions here. Hang yes, on. Let's you see. Do got some questions. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, PRV Tish said, "Who are your favorites from each other's season?" Okay. So. When I first started watching um, last season, or this past season, I was a really big fan of Claire, obviously because of, you know, of, um, of Tiffany and Claire's friendship. Um, I loved um, Kylan, because he's kind of cute. Um, I loved um, Aza, because she was something different. I don't think there's ever been a like real, I think maybe there is, and I hope I don't get too shit from the brother fans, but like a real African, like someone from Africa on the show. Um, and you know that Big Brother Nigeria um, is really huge right now. Um, but I love Aza, just her personality, her look, her fabulousness. I just can't, I just love her. Um, and who else? I loved, um, I was not a big fan of Xavier, believe it or not. When I first, um, watched the show, only because I was a little jealous of his beautifulness. I was like, really? Wow. He's a beautiful man. So anyhow, um, moving right along. Um, <laughs> there you are. I'm just babbling on. There you go. Get it. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I, found, I found it downstairs. I ain't shit. You're like, okay, it's just even good, but whatever. Cheers. Cheers. Love, love you, honey. I love you too. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Mm. What are you drinking, Moscato? This is ill. Never. Okay. Here's my here's the best Julie vote Julie's voice I have. Now it's time for America's votes. Yeah. Do we do matching Santa hats? Uh-huh. Which it is kind of cute. Yeah. Or do we let Bo be Santa? <laughs> and you be an elf. And I'm the elf. Cute. It's time for America's vote. <laughs> I think can we, we instead of a poll question elf, elf or santa elf? that's you i like that i like that a lot or santa i like the elf i love the, like elf. the elf okay. i like the elf that's cute okay. all right what do y'all think y'all like the elf see <laughs> richie i still got those red overalls uh-oh okay too you funny see my, you see my shirt bow Nat Queen. Girl. Nat Queen. What? Girl. No. Love it. <laughs> Done. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, hey, girl. Hey. I'm fun. I love this. I love this. I love this energy. Fantastic. OK, come on. We got to take a picture, Bo. Yes, let's do it. Come on, fans. Take a picture. Screenshot. Video. <laughs> Why are we like this? Like, what is wrong with us? Why are we like I this? I your energy through the screen. <laughs> I love you. I cannot wait to see you. Oh my God, so you're gonna be in um, Orlando for um, Give Kids the World. Yes, I am. I will freaking be there. Me yes. too. Now, it's my birthday going? that weekend. My are birthday's on the 11th. Early? I'll be there. So I'll be in Orlando on the eighth. Oh, you are. And then, early. yeah. I mean, I'll be there. So let's hang out. My boo lives in Orlando, so. Oh, so maybe I should go on the eighth too. I gotta check my flights. 
So I'm bringing yeah. my son. I'm bringing my son with me. So I'm gonna bring Christian. Perfect. And, but he is like a little young man. He does not need me. So yeah. I went. So tonight I went. At, but I went jewelry shopping. I ain't shit. First of all. Okay. So what are we shopping for? Nothing. Just because. <laughs> So I I'll, tell, I'll tell you what happened. So I've got this favorite. I got my favorite jewelry store okay. in um in uh downtown Birmingham. So I went to get okay. my watch that um my watch that X got me. Yeah, the Nola watch. I went and got it fitted. Yeah. And then I lost one of my hoop earrings when we were in Tampa, so I bought another pair of hoops. Uh huh. Um, and I love, love, love silver. So I because I can afford it because right. I. <laughs> because I love I love Tiffany jewelry and I can't afford yes. their gold, but I can afford their silver. Yeah. So um and so I got some hoop earrings and I got some little um silver balls. Like they're not I can't call them pearls because they're silver, but I got the little silver balls. Okay. And then I got a little necklace that has. It little... could be platinum though. You never know, so don't judge. Mm -hmm. So let's just change yeah. what I said to all of my jewelry is platinum. <laughs> okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. all, all of my jewelry is platinum. And put exactly. That, put that in your palm pilot. Nah, nah. <laughs> and so I'm, I, I, I text my son. I, I'm, I pull him up on the map, and I'm like, "Bruh, what you do? You in downtown Birmingham? He's with his friends at Starbucks." I'm like, oh, yeah. "Okay." So anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm. Uh, he'll be coming with me to Florida. He said he'd been to Disneyland, so he doesn't care. But. Okay. We'll be there. He'll be on. He'll be doing his thing. But I should probably okay. come Wednesday so I can hang out with you. How old is he? Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. See, out okay. here, people allow their children to be independent, so they kind of right. grow up with the sense of responsibility of doing exactly. things on their own. And Absolutely. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So yeah. he's not attached to my hip. You know what I'm right. saying? He's 14, but he's like, he's a good. Going on 30. Yeah. I'm telling you, he texted me last night, like, can you send me some money? And I sent it to him. <laughs> and then and then he replied to me. He replied to me with this text message that says, thank you, mother. I shall forever be grateful for your sacrifice of currency. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> No, he did not. I was like, well, who are you talking like, to? What? Yeah. I'm Barack Obama. <laughs> Seriously. I love it. I love it. Oh, We're my God. We're not raising no grown babies over here. We raising grown ups, you know? Yes, grown ups. Ups. Yes. Amen. Amen to that. OMG. Let me see what What's I happening? Got. I just got a text from our favorite person, but I can't say it on who on, on here. Who? Oh. She's a producer. Ah! What'd you say? I'll tell you later. Okay. Well, I replied. Just so you know, I replied. Yes, I know you did. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Hello. <laughs> so, so what's your favorite meals, like, Thanksgiving? Like, what do you love? Um, so, my, I, I always look forward to it. I make a mean macaroni and cheese. Okay, girl, hello, hello, let's not play. Um, I make a mean macaroni and cheese. Um, I always look forward to some things that I cannot make, i.e. pineapple upside down cake. Hmm, I love a pineapple um, upside down cake. You make a good one? No, I love to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa is in the house. Oh yeah, let's bring her in. You wanna bring her in? Alyssa probably somewhere like, don't bring me in. Alyssa. Well, do, you not, do you not remember when, oh, when y'all let me in and I was at the club? <laughs> Alyssa, come through. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, that's wrong people. Mm -mm, no. Let's not you see. just inviting anybody. There goes X. Hi, X. What's up? We got BB23 in the house. BB23 in the house. Where's Alyssa? Did she join? Did she ask to join or no? Uh, X said hi, Bo. 
What's up, my brother? Brother. It's the, it's the spirit. It's the spirit for them. It's the spirit, girl. Things. It's the spirit. Honey. See, Honey. Raise my thing up higher so y'all can see my hat because this hat is important. So I am a I am a baked chicken and dressing girl. Ooh. I will eat dressing like every day of the week. I love baked chicken. I love dressing. I love candy ants. Uh -huh. I love macaroni and cheese. I love cranberry sauce. I could eat that every day. Yeah. And then I would be thick, thick, bow. Imagine if I was thick, thick. I would get all of them. I'm seeing this thick. <laughs> <laughs> You're a skinny mini girl. Seriously, don't even, don't even, don't even play. I can't even help it. It's nothing I could do about it. I was like this, Bo. Let me tell you. I was like 13, 14, like, okay, when I get 16, I'm going to yeah. have these, and I'm going to have these, right? Uh -huh. 16 came around, nothing happening. I was still in the training bra. I was like, okay. What? What? I was like, okay, well, just wait. Just wait then. So I was like, well, when I'm 18, I'm going to have these, and I'm yeah. going to have these. 18 uh -huh. came around. I was just straight up and down. I was straight in the front. I was straight in the back. I was no. Back. How? Nothing. Nothing. You didn't even have collard greens, girl. That's why. 21, I was like, it's going to be pow, pow. <laughs> 21 came through. It was like, pew, pew. I was like, what the fuck? You know what? what is so then I was asking my cousins, like, so how y'all get TNA? Like, what, what, right. like, what, what y'all be doing? <laughs> They, yeah. was like, they was like, they was like this. They gave me all kind of remedies, girl. I sleep in my bra. I start sleeping in my bra. Nothing. Um, <laughs> they was like, then my one girl was like, girl, you got to eat fried chicken. I was like, fuck it then. So I'm in now. Like, I'm eating fried chicken. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> my one friend was oh, like, girl, she was like, girl, I just prayed. I was like, well, I'm about to pray too. Lord, y'all see me down here with this flat ass and these oh hair Can I get something? Can I help us out? Yeah. Help. Candy yams, stuff in a dressing me. Help Honey. me, help me. Get it. Listen, I was the one bow not lying. <laughs> I, was at, I was at home like this before I got ready to go to school. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're like, don't touch. Get away. Don't touch. Get away. Oh my god! I will. Seriously, oh my god! Oh my I see you. I, see you. I, see you. I gotta make it happen. I gotta make it happen. Oh. That is hilarious. That is so funny. Girl, yeah. seriously. <laughs> You'll get on my what, nerves. <laughs> <how did, laughs> what is happening for tomorrow? What's the, what's, what's, the, what's the run of show? Are you having Thanksgiving at your house? No. Nope, Mama's I'm gonna house? Go Mama friend's house? I'm going to go to Mama Pat's. And yeah. she always does Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, my family... We used to be big, but we so small. Like, nobody had kids. So right. it's like, we should have more kids. Like, why do people stop having kids? So, mm. you know, anyway, I'm going to go to Mama Pat's. I'm going to take my son. We're going to, um, oh, I didn't tell y'all how the tits came out. Wait, I got to tell them how the tits came out. <laughs> okay. So, so let me tell y'all how Wait. I finally got these Keep talking. Girls. I'm going to refill, okay? Keep going. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all how I finally got these girls. I had my son, and I nursed him. Now, I had so much milk. I had milk up here. I had milk under my arms. I had milk in my back. My boobs just filled up. I went up to, like, a C cup, and I thought they were going to fall because that's what people kept telling me, like, oh, you nursing. You're not going to have no boobs after that. And I was like, well, this for my son, so I don't care about the boobs no more. After I finished nursing, honey, them boobs. Day. And then I went up to a D and I was like, oh, I got to invest in some Brazier's. So yeah, it was nursing my son. And then just, I think like in my family, as the women get older, 
the weight just goes to our boobs. So, you know, I'm a nice little, a nice little cup going, cup going. But yeah, you know, that was 14 years ago. I, yeah, my, my son's father was like, oh, so you a cow. I'm like, can I just be a mama? But yeah, right? it, was, it was nursing, <laughs> not, not you coming in upside down. So yeah, it was, it was nursing my son. I became a mom. Them boobs filled up. I was like, don't go nowhere. So now mm -hmm. it's, just powder, it's just powder milk now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop. <laughs> so I moved on to Rose. Late, I am I am a late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer. So I'm just now going through puberty. I'm waiting on these hips to spread. But oh my I don't know so. what that problem is. Somebody told me why my hips ain't spread. <laughs> you, want me, you want me to tell you what, what they, they say? say? What they, they say? They ain't hitting that right. <laughs> Girl, you're so funny. Oh my God, I cannot wait Don't to be invite here. me back no more. Don't invite me back no more. Honey, are you serious? This is going to be a weekly thing for us, okay? Cheers. <laughs> Hello. I will love it. Rose, Cheers. honey. Rose all day. Rose all day. Um, I love me some rose. I well, have drank all of my rose. Oh my gosh. Literally, that's, said, my, that's, that's one of my, that's that's one of my vices. Like, I love meat some rose because it, like, just like, it's nice and refreshing summertime, especially in Florida. You can have it year round. You know, you can uh, by the pool, you know, before you have like the real drink, just like, you know, like a nice little welcome drink. It's like fantastic. So, that's my thing. It took I love me a minute drink. to find, it took me a minute to find my perfect um, wine style. I yeah. started off with Merlot, but it was too acidic. And I okay. actually used to mix it with a little grape juice. That was when I first started really? drinking wine. I did. And so then I then I went over to um a seven young um a seven Blanc? Um, Blanc? Mm -hmm. Cabernet no, Sauvignon. The red one. Cabernet what? Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon, yes. Yeah. And so I I like that as a red. Um, then I went over to Chardonnay. Okay. And I, because I don't like sweet. I tried Moscato. Never. Ne I can't. You ain't. Yeah. Don't never bring no Moscato over. I will vomit. Mm -hmm. I don't like sweet. So I did do a Sauvignon Blanc because Chardonnay, yeah. Chardonnay was too bit too dry. It was way right. too dry. But I. But it depends on where you're getting it from. If it's like if it's like yeah. at a. If it's, if it's a Napa Valley, but if it's also like, you know, like an Italian, if it's like, yes. it all depends on the region, you know, because they it, all have their own, it does. you know, yeah. So then Riesling was okay, but then when I tried Rosé, yeah. it was the perfect, I do like a red blend, I like yeah. a red blend, but I really, really like Rosé, and have yeah. you ever tried, so one of my favorite brands of wine is menage a trois have you had menage really? trois? okay i've had it before you haven't or you have i have i have girl it's cbs <laughs> you know right now I, i'm girl. not balling i'm not Honey. i'm on a budget ball 11 89 and it tastes just as good as like another a napa valley or a sonoma valley red wine yeah, yeah. it's so I'm good like, I like I like the rose um by Menage a Trois. It's really good. I like Josh. Oh. I like Josh Rose too. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm gonna be quiet because I got a couple of sponsors who want me to talk about them. So I like them. I like the ones who sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, um I love me some Whispering Angel and some Whispering um, Angel. Girl, honey. Shout out to Wayne. That Go get you some wine from Wink Wink. Wink. Yeah, it's Wink. Wink Angel. And they have a less expensive version that tastes almost the same. It's called The Palm oh. by Whispering Angel. Okay. So it's fantastic. It's super good. Um, you can get it at, um, at actually at any Walgreens liquor store or you can go to uh, Total Wine. They have it there. Okay. Um, my, those are two of my favorites. Okay. Uh, when it comes to reds, and you said, you mentioned this, a red blend. Yeah. Um, the Prisoner. The Prisoner? And 
the prisoner. So it's called the prisoner. It's a little expensive. It's kind of bougie. But I kid you not, it's like when you're going to like one of those um, house parties that you don't want to come empty handed and you want to make an impression. Oh. You know, you take a ball of the prisoner, you know, it's thirty five to forty five dollars, but ooh. you like make an impression. You walk up and you're like, Okay, here you go. They're like, Ooh, the prisoner. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but it's but but you guarantee, hands down, the people that you're giving it to, when I open it up that night, they're gonna keep it for themselves. Because they don't want to share that shit, honey girl. Okay. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Don't, share, don't share the prisoner. Keep the prisoner. Honey, stuff. it is good. It is good. It is good. Hang on. My, my man's calling, but decline. Sorry. Okay. So, girl, I know. Mm. Is this the man, Orlando? Yes, it is. Mr. Oren. Mm. Girl. I need to be invited on a thruple date with you and <laughs> now. <laughs> you will. Done. Let's make it happen, girl. I love make it. it happen. So Janelle's going to be doing, um, well, she was supposed to be coming to Hearts of Reality. I know. But just so you know, Violet, her oldest daughter, mm -hmm. Violet's birthday's on the 14th. Okay. My birthday's on the 11th. So originally she said, yes, let's do it. But now they have to travel for the rest of um, December. So she was like, listen, I can't come. You know, we have to celebrate Violet's birthday that weekend before... I'm like, all right, I get it. A little mad. Because yeah. me and Janelle do our annual, um, like, trips. We do two oh. trips a year. Oh. So she and I do usually her birthday or my birthday. Either we, we, we pick okay. or we do Memorial Day weekend. Okay. Or, like, sometime in, like, July okay. somewhere. So. I love y'all. I just love y'all relationship. It's you know, and honestly, I have to think about, and just, just thinking about, and looking back, and I don't want to, like, boast, and I want to talk yeah. about, like, people or seasons that I've really, yeah. really bonded. Yeah. I have to say, season six and your season have been the only seasons that have really rallied together and have really been in contact, but, like, as true friends. Like, me and Kaser are, are going to be doing, like, this whole, like, NFC, and I'm sorry, NFT, oh. um, art space, like, oh. collaboration together. I mean, okay. I mean, honey, like, this is the next level. Like, I mean, you know, because, you know, Kaser's uh, a, a techie. He's a techie. Okay. He's like, Bo, I need your help. I need marketing. I need this. And I'm like, I got you. The fact That's that we trust each other and that we have these so many, like, things in common that yeah. we have a bond. Big Brother, which people don't realize, is a bonding experience experience yeah. that nobody can ever ever and, and and this is why the fans love big brother players so much because they understand that we're going through this whole like like experiment yeah that's where they understand that we're under duress sometimes girl i mean sometimes it's like i'm done you know yeah. but you get through it you do and you know when we get out of it then we realize okay you know what that was a game, but the true friendships and the relationships and the conversations that we had in this game, I don't think were fake. Yeah. You also <laughs> progress and you look past that. Like, I mean, look at me and Janelle. Like, trophy situation, as in two frenemies becoming absolute best friends. That's like, me and Derek I, F. That's me and Derek F, honestly. Yeah. Like, I yeah. love really? He loves me. Really? I but we fought like cats and dogs on the show. Yeah. But we're like brother and sister. So yeah. I totally get it. I and remember, I love that. So I did not see you guys a season when it aired. I yeah. came in like season 14 and then I didn't want to watch it because she was on a coaching season. I wanted to know right. who it was. So I turned yeah. it off and I went back and watched all the season old six. ones. So then I went and so then like after I watched season six. Then I go and look for y'all on like social media and I see that you guys are best friends and I'm like, how? What does she mean? Look, I was, yeah. I was, I was a fan at that time. And as a fan, yeah. you don't understand. But then I started watching, I was like, that's really dope that they were able to make a friendship out of, outside of what happened in the house. And oh my I gosh. Think, I think that yeah. people that have never been in that situation don't understand it but for me i've been through a lot of things in my life and so 
Um, I just am a person who has had to grow myself. So people have just forgiven me for things I've said or done. And I love and respect them for giving me that chance. So mm -hmm. I am not a person who will be like, oh, you did this to me. Unless you just really did something that's a deal breaker to me. But if right. I see it as, it, as an immaturity or a, a need for growth or just a lesson, I just met, and if you ask me for my forgiveness and you want to make the relationship better, nine times out of 10, I will work with you on that because yeah. I have done some wrong to some people and have been like, damn, that was fucked up. You know, like, right. I'm right. sorry about that. Hi, Ty. And I really want you, I, I would really appreciate if, if you would listen to me and allow me the chance to show you that I am apologetic about this. Right. You have done and, then you're, and then you're sincere about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah. that's the point. And that's yeah. what it gets to because like, if it wasn't that deep, and this is what I have to explain to people. Okay. Our situation that happened on my season was 16 years ago. Okay. Yes. 16 years ago. People come up to me and Janelle, when we're together sometimes, they're like, how are you guys friends? We're like, 16 years ago, really? I'm like, well, we squashed that shit <laughs> literally the second day that it happened in the house. We had a bottle of wine each, you know? And we were literally throwing up in buckets that same night. Like, I kid you I, not. I am, I am just like this, like, well, how long would you prefer that I hold a grudge? Because holding a Tell grudge about it. and being yeah. upset with somebody doesn't help me at all. You know what I'm saying? It actually hurts me to have to stay yeah. mad at somebody. So exactly. Like, why do people feel like they should be able to tell you how long you should be upset with somebody else? Yeah. And it's like, and it's like, why would I let someone hold or first of all, it's not even it wasn't that deep. It was a yeah. stupid drunken conversation, yeah. drunk drunken fight, yes. Like it got escalated. <laughs> but the next day, I was in the confessional. I was just like, oh my God, I was smashed, whatever. Yeah. Can't stand her, blah, blah, blah. But the next day, we're like talking and we're working out together. It's like, but that's a big brother house yeah. for you. But a lot of other people don't see it as that. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit of like a tricky situation to explain to people because they don't realize that you get over it, but they don't show it. You know what else? Say. This is another thing that makes it different. <clears throat> In the real world, if you do something to me that I don't like, like, or we get upset about it, you usually go home or wherever you're going to go. I go yes. where I'm going to go. I don't have to see you. I don't have to exactly. talk to you. Our makeup yeah. is going to take a lot longer because we are not in the same vicinity to have to right. deal with one another. When yeah. you're in that house, there is no, you go over there and I don't have to see you, like, I still exactly. gotta go to the bathroom with you. Yeah. I still gotta eat with you. I still exactly. gotta wake up and change my mic with you. So yep. our makeup time happens a lot faster a lot. in that environment because I don't get to separate myself from you. Like you're still here. And so yeah. because we still have to live together, we make up or we come to a settlement a lot easier than if in the real world where yeah. I don't got to see you. I can ignore your exactly. phone calls. If I show up and you there, I'm leaving. Yeah, so exactly. So it's a totally you're different right. environment. And unless you've been in that situation, now it's kind of like when you're a kid and you've got a sibling. When you live yeah. at home with your parents and you got a sibling, how long can you be mad at your sibling? Shit, we, you right across the, the <laughs> hall. I know, <laughs> literally. Yeah, you have to eat dinner together. You have to freaking go on car rides together. You're both sitting in the back seat together. You're like, you're like, okay, whatever, you know, you know, seriously. And and the thing about it is getting out of the house, getting out of the house. Both of us being from Miami. Okay. We were in the same industry. We were for the same company, which which we didn't realize. But the company that she was the bottle waitress company. Oh wait, well she was a cocktail waitress for yeah. huge company. Okay? okay, the Opium Group. She worked at Mansion. They hired me to be a host, okay? And literally, they had me at Mansion, Mokai. Um, as Mr. Set. Bella, I do have a sibling, if that's your question. Like, are you checking me? I do have a sibling. I have two. Thank you. But <laughs> um, this is- <laughs> Wait, what happened? I missed something. As, as Mr. Mella, or A-S-M-R-M-E-L-A, like, girl, did you grow up with a sibling, LOL? Yes, love, I did, too. I have an older brother yeah. and a younger sister. 
And I have an older sister that's three years older, so thank you. Mm -hmm. I, it's funny how people think they know you when they like try to check you about you. So yeah. um, learn your facts. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yours to that, honey. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Seriously, say it. Uh, so yeah, but getting back to the real world from, from being on Big Brother, um, you know, we're in the same city. Me, Ashleya, Yvette, James, and myself, five of us, okay. were all on Miami Beach, okay? There was no way that we were not going to see each other. Me, Janelle, and Ashleya were the three that worked for the same company, so it was, you know, destiny for us to see each other. Okay. We, we, all, we all became the throuple, okay. which you're going to be the throuple of okay. me and Janelle. But literally, but we became besties and we were just out and about every night. We're like, who cares? And my brother's like, oh my God, you're together. I don't know. I'm like, you guys, we got over that shit. The night we squashed that like the next day after it happened. But like, you know what? We're human. We move on. We're in the same city. We're the same vibe. We're the same like people. Yeah. Let's do this. I mean, you know? Well, and then she I went on. That forgiveness was a bad thing. Like, I never knew that you know? forgiveness was a bad thing. Exactly. If you know. grudge, you're judged. If you forgive, you judge. Like, I just yeah. am a forgiving person, and I don't apologize for that. I yeah. know, and, and, and just because I forgive doesn't mean that you get 100% of me. You just you, you, you just don't get to mess up right. my vibe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't get yeah. to lock my energy into this dark hole. You just don't get right. that. And you're not gonna, and you're not gonna let someone take real estate in your mind or hold real estate in your mind for years and years and years, you know? Yeah. And who's this guy? Who's this guy? Um, who? Uh, Icon Nicole. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bo likes older men. Yeah. Listen, bitch. Okay. Let me just tell you something. Okay. <laughs> I. I had to try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like men that are respectful. And this is to clear the air, okay? Yeah. So I'm just gonna, this is true tea. And I'm gonna squash this forever, okay? Am I gonna talk about is it? Is there something wrong okay. with that? Because I like younger men. It, it could be a difference between a five year difference and a 10 year difference, but the person that's five years difference from you could still be immature, okay? I don't, I'm not trying to waste my time with that. If someone's 10 years older than me, I will take it. I will, if they're going to be respectful, they're going to spoil me with respect. I mean, age is nothing there's but a three number. Things, there's three what? things in life that you need in a relationship. Respect, communication, and trust, okay? So people don't understand that, and they still want to bring say, the shit up about, again, oh, Bo, Bo, like, Bo, Bo I was talking. Say them again, Bo, I was talking. The three things are? The three things you need in a relationship are, are respect, communication, and trust, okay? And money. And money, oh, sorry. Go well, obvious. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but you know what? Listen. Here's the thing. Yes, I have had a liking towards people that are, well, towards men that are that are that are more like you know, like debonair. They are seasoned. They know what they want. They're not playing games. Okay. I'm not gonna be with somebody that is gonna like play games, toy around, not know what they want in life, not just be like, you know, true to themselves, still don't know what they want. I'm like, listen, my ex-husband, okay, ex for a reason. My ex-boyfriend, he was a great guy, not for me, okay? My first fiance, fantastic, but maybe a little too much on the mature side for me. My current guy is, I feel like I manifested him in my life. Okay. Because he's a perfect age. He's the perfect, like, like, just like, just, demeanor he has qualities that i can't ever imagine anyone not happening Aww. having what and is, what is his sign he is aquarius oh okay and i'm sagittarius so okay. that is such a like an equilibrium okay. and the fact that he has and this is what i also and this is like something deep that you know maybe you know people don't know he has an adopted son at birth from birth okay. it's black Okay, he just turned 16. Okay, oh. so I literally am walking into the situation. It's been recent, it's been like a few months, but 
I feel like this has been so destined. I feel like I literally manifested this in my life because if I can't have a child of my own, I would love to be a role model to someone that I can help in life, I love you that. know? I love and that. our connection is just so deep and so amazing and so like just this and just like, like just, it, he's, he's just everything. And it's like, when you meet him, you're gonna meet him. You're gonna meet him in December. Yes. And you're going to fall in love with them and everybody else will. Like, I, already, I we made the announcement today and I've already had people like texting me left and right. Who's this guy? Like, listen, this is the one. Like, this is the person that I could see myself with for the rest of my life. <clears throat> like, I can grow old with him. We can have a life together. You know, we have the same morals, the same values, um, yeah. you know, the same kind of background, upbringing. Um, like I said, yeah, maybe he's 10 years older than me, but it doesn't I matter. Know. Like, you know we what? have. Well, age does not matter to me. I know. It is the way it is the way you treat me. Absolutely. I need I need to know if you know how to treat me. And that doesn't Absolutely. come with an age. That comes with maturity. Um, exactly. It ha it comes with desire. Yes. I I don't care about your age because I ain't telling you mine. It just can't. <laughs> Oh my God. Fall off. Yes. Who, told, who told you how old I was? See, right? Yeah. Hello. Can I sue them? First of all, I... Wikipedia is wrong, bitch. <laughs> what Hello. I said was not what, I, what I said. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Seriously. Funny. Yes. You know? And honestly, like, I'm just excited for the future. So, you know. And what? Okay. So. Move right along. What yes. is um, our plan for um, Christmas and New Year's for the holidays? OMG. I, I just realized today when I was out jewelry shopping, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I think I'm supposed to be buying stuff for other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Damn. Bye bye. Um, who in your season or who in a different person season or a different season um did you think you were going to be friends with and think that you would not be friends with compared to the opposite like who'd you least think that you ever be compatible with in your season that big you became d. friends with big d big d for real honestly i did not expect even in the house i knew he didn't like me and i did not i couldn't figure it out but I was like, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't care. So I did not yeah. expect us to be friends. But outside of the house, we've gotten over so much of, of what happened in the house. Right. And I just, I don't know. I'm a caregiver and I come from a family of teachers. I think I'm just a person who likes to pull and uplift. So I don't care right. if you don't like me. Right let's let's see I want to help you you know what I'm saying and it's not that I want to help him I just I, I care about him and we have bonded and we have grown to respect and love each other and mm -hmm. so we just have a relationship that I was not expecting to have outside of the house. I remember like my last week, I was like, Big D, you gonna come visit me in Detroit? And he was like, I mean, you know, and I was like, oh, he does not like it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He was like, uh, wh where is that? In California? So. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But Seriously. we still have a great relationship. Um, Somebody I, re I expected to have are you and Claire still friends? Um, me and me and everyone are friends. Okay, yeah. Me and Claire are friends. Um, I think Claire and DX have each other, and you you have to know how that is. Like they left the house, they were in the house together, left the house together, and they still have each other. Right. I can only imagine what it's like to leave the house with something. Like if I could have put Chada in my pocket and brought right. her home with me. I probably wouldn't talk to anybody else because I have my person. Like I've got right. somebody, you know, this is somebody who knows what I've been through and we can like build together and we can do stuff mm -hmm. together, whatever. Like that's my girl. I love Chada Baby. And so yeah. 
and then Claire went back to work. But me and Claire are definitely still friends, still close, but she's like back to work and she's got DX. So I understand that her availability and her need for right. the socializing isn't as, as strong as mine because right. I was still with the cast, a lot of the cast, we, when we left the house, even for like a few weeks. So my separation anxiety is almost like, eh. Yeah, yeah. Which I honor the fact that, I think this is the first season, literally. I think maybe BB21, Tommy and Christy season, like, because a lot of them were from, like, New Jersey, like, like New York, Staten Island area. So they kind of, like, clinched together. Yeah. The fact that you guys made it, like, a th like I mean, listen, first of all, cookout. <laughs> Hello. Seriously. Okay. Our Sun Angel 89, we all live in reality, love. Maybe you don't realize what it's like, but you can judge all you want. I, I, all you want to. I, I, won't, I won't judge you in this... Um, I just won't judge you. <laughs> but we all live in real life. Love you. We have real lives, <laughs> real family, real money, real True future, tea. a real past. It was reality TV. So we all live in a reality. But I love the judgment. You keep judging. Yeah. You keep judging. Yeah. But when you yeah. get to heaven, God ain't going to ask you about me. Okay? Preach. Girl, love it. Done. Done. <laughs> But um, what I loved about what you did and what, you know, with the cookout and when I, and that your season, you guys stayed together and you stuck together after, this was the, I think the only, and even a lot of people, even People Magazine, even like In Touch said, you were the only season that had the biggest post season presence on any platform. Like y'all, I mean, hands down, like, I mean, like, I love you. Like, and I love the fact that you guys did that. And I wish we would have done that a little bit. But like, you know, like I said, back in the day, we didn't have no social media. But you guys killed it. You guys are amazing. You guys are fantastic. And I love that you guys really made history. Like, I even well, you know. reached out to BB and was like, listen, mm -hmm. if the cookout becomes or if the, if the final six is the cookout, um, I need to be there. And she was like, all right, we'll let you know. And they all said, oh, okay, well, we're having a closed studio, you know, cast, da, 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 whatever else. I'm like, all right, let me know. But, you know, it is you what know, it is. But. So that, we couldn't have had our season without the other previous BB seasons. And right. I've talked to so many BB alum, not just African-American BB alum, but I've talked to, I've talked to all different cultures, nationalities, races of BB alum, mm -hmm. and how being in the, in the environment and in the house and in the game affected them in the game and outside of the game. And right. I think that we all, not just the cookout, I think we all wanted to get along. We, we yeah. did not want to fight. And we knew that day one. Like night one, when we were all just together, it was like, damn, we don't want to turn on each other and like fight each other and dislike right. each other and slander each other and bash each other. Like we just did not want that. And Frenchie is throwing up his prayer hands in his chest. Yes, Frenchie. Yes, he was like yes. One of the main ones, like, because he was HOH and it was like really a challenge. Like, how do I put up? Anybody and none of us wanted that. And I think that that foundation was set night one. Like, we don't want to be that cast. We don't right. want to be the people that slander and, 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 you know, we just didn't want that. And so we kind of said that night, like, no matter what happens, well, no matter who leaves when, when this is right. all said and done, we are all going to be a family. That was Amen. Said night one. So Good. that was just an understanding. And those who wanted to keep that, we are that. Right. Period. And y'all did it, which was fantastic. And the fact of the matter, here's what made the game so much more interesting that when you guys were playing it, because there was a higher goal, okay? And then you had all the other people that were involved, but you also had personal relationships with these people. 
And that was the, that was the, that was, and I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Cause I'm like, wow. Like those conversations that you guys had to have each week of like letting your like plus one leave, you knowing that you had to like put your best friend up to make a bigger goal happen. That was just like, that was breathtaking. That was just like so crazy and so like, just like epic that you can't ever imagine this ever happening again. Like it would probably ne will never happen again. Yeah. Um, but just the dynamic and you guys had an understanding and you guys were just like, we have to do this. And I was even on edge many times. And I was like, are they gonna do it? 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 And that's why everyone was just like, <gasps> you know, on edge. But when it happened, I mean, you can see some of my lives that I did or some of my, you know, my recordings and stuff that I did during the season. I was like, ah, screaming like a biatch. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I, I mean, beyond, like seriously, like what happened this season was just like, just hands down, like epic. And the queen, Tiffany, Aww. seriously, I love I you. I love so you. I think you're so you. amazing and you deserve it. Like, I mean, like you, I, I, America's Vote, America's Favorite, like more than that. Just like iconic. This should be an iconic award. Okay. The iconic <laughs> award goes to Tiffany Mitchell, honey. Yeah. Yes, yes, honey. Seriously. Like you made shit happen and you literally are an icon and you deserve it. You deserve it. And I love you. Thank you. Truly so, do. So Truly do. Good to see you and Jerry. Thank you, Bo. You guys paved the way, like all the other seasons. It's just, I think that we were just chosen to be in that in that moment. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think that it was just meant to be that way. You know, and I'm just honored that. I was a part of that because I am such, I'm like a BB stalker. I just watch it all the time. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter that I've already seen it. I'm like, I'm about to watch yeah. it again, you know. So, right. Um, yeah. To actually be able to, like, watch you on social media, watch your season, um, just fan out over you guys. Then I'm chosen to go in this house, play this game, and America loves me. It's like I'm waiting for someone to like wake me up from a dream right. and, and to be yeah. embraced. Like the BB um, alum community is so freaking awesome. I never oh, yeah. knew that we would come out and just be embraced like that. You guys yeah. like make us feel so welcome and so normal because if it Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I think we would all feel weird because the fans do a job of trying to make us feel bad. Like mm -hmm. some of them, most of them do love us. Oh. People who love us just do love us. But it is the, the judgments of, but you did this and you said that and you said that. I don't know anyone else who has had their every interaction, their every conversation, their every thought, their every private moment, their everything about them filmed and documented. Yeah. Where you will uh, well you can where you can say I always said and did the right thing. That mm -hmm. is virtually impossible. We are not perfect people. So if someone was watching you Joe Blow for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and watching how you interact with all of these strangers when you're in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Are you going to always be this ideal person who says, speaks, acts, lives without um, fault? Mm -hmm. Nobody is. Nobody. Yeah. Is. Because when I am. When I'm at the store and I'm on the phone with my girl, I can go, girl, you should see what this girl in here got on. But when I'm on TV and I'm recording, I can't say that. Yeah. You know, so, or I'm upset with you at home. I can be like, you know what, Bo? I'm straight on this. I'm out. But yeah. when we are in the same house together and you piss me off, yeah. how do I vent? How do I vent without anybody seeing or hearing what I say? 
Do I just swallow that? And how fucking crazy does that make you? Exactly. Yeah. In the heat of the moment. Am I just supposed to go, I know I want to say this stuff. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can pull it together. It's not the trolls I'm paying attention to. That's not it. I'm just acknowledging the fact that before I was in the house, I had a lot to say about how people handle themselves in the house as right. well. Right. Bo, I'm on Twitter like this when I'm thinking I'm going. I'm like, oh, they're coming to record my video. Let me get on my Twitter. I was on my Twitter like, oh, girl, you said that? You're going to have to delete that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm on Twitter like, oh, what would you say? Mm -mm, no, delete that, delete that, delete that. I'm like, oh, I almost deleted my whole Twitter because that was too yeah. much. Yeah. You don't know what you will do in any situation you have never been in until you are in it. You in think it. you know. Yeah. You think yes. you know. You think you know. But you don't. So I yeah. hope you do what you think you would do in that situation if that's what's Absolutely. best for you. Yeah. But that fight or flight is real. It for sure yeah. is, yeah. And you can't please, like, like you said, you can't please the world. You can't make, you can't, you can't no, be. No. Uh, I mean, listen. You can try to be on twenty four seven. You can try to be like this. Try to be like that. Whatever else. But listen, when you're on the show like this, it's like you have people that are watching only, only the edited versions of the season. And you have people that are watching you twenty four seven, like twenty four seven. Like I think half the world saw Bo's Taco Pee Pee. You know, I'm like, okay, I, there's no privacy at all. Even if you want to have privacy, there's no privacy, you know? And it's just like, I get it. Maybe one thing might come out of my mouth that you might not like that I meant in one way, but you take it a certain way. That's another thing about, about television and about people listening to you, that when you say something, they're like, oh, you mean this, and you're this, this, and da, da, da. You're like, no, that's not what I meant, and that's not what I said. Mm -hmm. I said this, and this is how I meant it. But you're always going to have judgments. You're always going to have people that have their opinions. You're like, this is America. You know, what I say stays. No, I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. Ask the person if you have a complaint and ask them respectfully, what did you mean by this comment? Yeah. But can it happen? Has it happened? Will it still happen? I mean, we, I mean that is to be seen yeah. but you know it is what it is but you know being honest and being true to ourselves and for us putting ourselves out there like this and out like that and being filmed for three months on end you know it shows a lot that we you know what really do care about the world about our you know selves about you know just making a difference in life and hopefully being there for someone if you can change one person's life then then our our, our being in the show made a difference. Yes. If I, if I can help, if one person, if I can make a difference in the life of one person, that is enough for me. That is enough. Yeah. That's why I continue to give. Like, if, I, if I've got anything in here that I am able to speak and share with someone and it resonates with them and it yeah. helps them in any way, my job here is done. That's it. Amen. Yeah. Show me this scarf. Now, wait a minute, Bo. They want to know the workout routine. Can you show us those arms? They talking about those arms. I'm looking at some arms, <laughs> baby. You look like you better lift somebody. Damn, Bo. Bo, that looks Honey, like it, the little emoji. It looks like the little <laughs> emoji. Is that your arm? So you mean your arm is the emoji? <laughs> it's push-ups. It's, it's literally push-ups. It's push-ups. It's push-ups. You do the plank. I do the push-ups. Mm. Mm. Point blank, honey. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I love you so much. Well, I'm glad try. we did this. I'm gonna try to get some glad glad this. before it's too late. It probably is already yeah. too late. I gotta call Trisha and find out if I can come over there still and see what my mm. If Mama passed still up, I'm going live. She gonna cut okay. my ass out. Sweet. 
Cheers, my darling. It's been amazing. I love you. And um, let's not do this too far away. Let's do it again sometime soon. Look at your arms, Bo. Look at your arms <laughs> down here in the comments. That is what? You. That is you. Honey. Um, OK, I'll try to grow. I don't know. Let's go push it. I love you. I got some shoulders, too. But whatever. I'll go ahead. I see those fighting. shoulders. I see those shoulders. I see. Well, I, play, I played baseball for nine years. So maybe that's why. You know. Oh, you are so <laughs> sexy, honey. You are so sexy. It's so funny. I love it. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> Tiffany, I love you. I will see you soon. OK. Lesson Send weeks. us those screenshots, y'all. Yes, please. Send us screenshots. Tweet us. Yeah. I'm at Bo Trotting, V E A U T R O T T I N G. Yes. And, Bo. and Bo everyone Bo watching, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, happy holiday. Regardless of what holiday you celebrate, I hope everyone's family is doing well. You guys stay safe out there, eat well, pray, love on your family, and pray for your enemies too. They mean yes. hope. Love Amen. You all. All right. Yes. Done. All right, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Tune in next time. We'll 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 send you a shout out and let you know when we're doing it next time, okay? Yeah. Good night Bye. and happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Bye. Oh, nice. <laughs> love you too. Okay, I love you too. <laughs> Bye.